Iran has one of the biggest missile programs in West Asia and interestingly just a day after Tehran and Washington resumed their indirect talks to salvage the 2015 nuclear agreement, Iran unveiled a completely indigenously developed missile to the rest of the world. According to reports, this new surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile has a range of around 1,450 kilometers. And the reason why this is a matter of concern in the region is because it now puts Iran's fourth, the state of Israel and several Gulf state capitals, besides the American military bases, into the crosswires of the Iranian missile. Also, what seems to have drawn special attention to the missile is its name. Iran has called its missile the Khaybar Shakan, a reference to a Jewish fortress that was overrun by Muslim warriors in the early days of Islam in the 7th century at the Khaybar Oasis in the Hejaz region of what is now Saudi Arabia. The Khaybar Shakan missile is a third generation missile which can both use solid fuels and can be operated easily and its functionality has increased our missile strength significantly. Tehran regards its missile program as an important deterrent against any aggression or threats from the United States, Israel and other adversaries. It has outrightly rejected Western demands to halt its ballistic missile work. The enemies of the revolution and the Islamic Republic do not understand anything other than the language of power and force. If they even slightly feel that in attacking the Islamic revolution, the Islamic order and our country's resources, they will gain more than they will lose, they will not consider morals or humanity or human rights or press coverage in their attack and nor will they fear any other power. Saudi Arabia, the Sunni regional rival of Shiite-led Iran, has repeatedly called on the major powers led by the United States to address Gulf Arab's concerns, uh, Gulf Arab concerns about Tehran's missiles. The state of Israel, which Iran does not recognize as a legitimate state, has long threatened military action against Iran if the talks in Vienna fail to curb Tehran's nuclear work. But Iran insists that its nuclear ambitions are peaceful. In 2018, the then American President Donald Trump had decided to unilaterally walk out of that agreement, otherwise known as the Iranian nuclear deal, describing it as the worst negotiated deal in American history. In response, Iran had responded a year later by gradually breaching the pact's nuclear limits, rebuilding its stockpiles of enriched uranium and refining it to higher fissile purity. And it also started to install advanced nuclear centrifuges to speed up its nuclear fissile output. Tehran and Washington have blamed each other for the lack of progress. And this latest unveiling of a missile by Iranians uh, with the potential to strike the state of Israel and other American bases in the Gulf is likely to stoke further tensions in the region. And our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Tel Aviv. Take a look. I'm standing by the Israeli towers in Tel Aviv, one of hundreds of Israeli targets identified by Iran back in December. And now in its latest move, Iran has unveiled a long range missile capable of reaching targets across West Asia, including US bases stations there. Iran has called it the Khyber Buster, referring to an attack against Jews by early followers of Islam. This comes amid a backdrop this week of the U.S. restoring some sanctions relief to Iran and President Biden and PM Bennett speaking on the phone ahead of the resumption of the nuclear deal talks. With the talks ongoing in Vienna and White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki stating that they are now at a pivotal moment, the timing of the missiles unveiling has raised eyebrows. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.